Hello everybody, this is BeastCat100 and welcome back to some more Blaze Blue Continuum Shift Extend. In the previous episode, we had... Well, we had gotten a, quite a bit of a chunk into Valkenhayn's story, and it was just actually kind of a pleasant experience. Valkenhayn's interaction with a lot of people is just pleasant. Um... However, in this episode, we're going to have to get our war faces on because we're going to the bad ending today. So, if you like what you see, leave a like down below. Comment if you have anything to say. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. Click that bell so you know have everything I do when I do it. And share with your friends so they can join in on this adventure. Now then, let us continue on. I'm concerned about Madame Rachel. I shall head over to... The Novus Orbis Librarium Headquarters sits atop Kagutsuchi as though to assert the organi organization's dominance over the city. Valkenhayn ventures deeper into the structure. Hmm? This sensation? Is it magic? Well, well, well. About damn time you hobbled in, old yeller. You bastard! Hey now, temper, temper. Hmm. Uh, there is Relius once again. Next to Hosmos stands Relius Clover, the masked puppeteer. And off to the side, Valkenhayn espies something insubstantial a spirit or shadow. Magical aura that has peaked to sen the magical aura that has peaked to senses. It's coming from the shadow. Of this he has no doubt. Kokonoi. Kokonoi, respond. A for effort, Big Red. Unfortunately for you, we're all within Izayoi's domain right now. Your communicator is useless here. Izayoi? You bastards. How'd you get your mitts on something so powerful? <laughs> Take a wild guess. I love this damn thing. Takamakahara and the master unit can't see us. No snooping, no meddling. Damn it. What the hell is going on here? Now, now, children. Let's all use our inside voices, shall we? Gokunoe's overgrown puppet fascinates me. I would love to run a test or two on it. Assuming you don't mind, of course. Oh, you don't mind? Nah, knock yourself out. Or him. Excellent. Phantom, if you'd be so kind as to relocate them. Ugh. What the hell is this light? Before we can finish the thought, Taker and Relius' bodies are engulfed in light and vanish. Teleportation magic. It's a spell mastered by a precious few, Valkenhayn's master Rachel among them. In fact, he can only think of one other person capable of wielding such powerful magic. But it can't be her, can it? What is the meaning of this? Back in the day, she... Allow me to introduce Phantom. She's my assistant, I guess you'd call her. She's all sorts of useful. Not like all you know who. <laughs> definitely speaking of nine. Now is it corruption? Brainwashing? Cloning? What have you done to her, you wretch? Answer me! You really looking for another dame to save? I mean, shouldn't you try to save the other one first? you done to Madame Rachel? If you've harmed her, I swear by my very... I stuck her in the darkness. She's probably fast asleep. Oh, but I should have grabbed a little coffin for her. Or a top to wrap her in or something. My bad. Okay, so this happens after 
Rachel's bad ending. Little did he know that uh, Ragnar actually saved her. Bite your tongue. Not digging the tarp idea, huh? That bark of yours is getting annoying. Since your master's not here to shut you up, I'll just have to muzzle you instead. Here we go. There's Hazma's theme. <laughs> you missed! I was, I was like right there. I was vulnerable as all fuck, and you still missed. What the fuck? Jesus Christ combo! Your rage is showing! No, that's not gonna be enough. Get out! <sighs> Stop fucking around. Just do the final hit already! I'm gonna try to do something cool, but I'm afraid of actually, you know, losing. I may as well be fighting a mirage for all the effect my blows are having upon it. You're a tough old bastard. Wanna keep going? Silence! Whoa there! Come on, you know the deal. Fight though they may, those who stand clear of fate's clutches cannot alter this world, blah blah blah. That's a rookie mistake, Gramps. I will never forgive you. Ha! <laughs> what part of cannot alter this world didn't you understand? Careful, Terry me. You're starting to break the fourth wall there a little bit. Oh, ho, ho. I almost forgot. I still owe you one, don't I? <laughs> Just because this isn't going to change the grander outcome doesn't mean it can't hurt like a bitch. Remember that time you beat the shit out of me? You're about to remember it a whole lot better. <laughs> this is awesome! It's like I'm beating up a dog and an old man all at once! I know you live a long ass time, but I guess even beasts can lose their mojo eventually. <coughs> What's wrong, Pooch? Talk to me. Got a hitch in your get along? Come on, speak. Roll over. Play dead. Play dead, goddammit. <laughs> no. What the? Hey! Hey! Who said you could teleport that geezer out of here, huh? Uh, I guess it's just as well. Don't want him dying on us, after all. Killing someone outside of Fate's authority can have unintended consequences to the Continuum Shift. It could reset the whole damn process. And I don't much feel like starting from scratch again. Interesting. 
that reflects what we saw with uh, Bang's bad ending. I guess Jin is outside of Fate's authority. Huh. Go figure. Well, I guess that makes sense. That's why he's been called the hero, because he can do a lot of things outside of the authority of the the world cycle. <clears throat> Too many goddamn rules. I guess I should go find Noel Vermillion already. <laughs> Don't tell me you've still got some free will rattling around in there. Hmm. So it is nine. No, this is Adam Rachel's. Falkenheim weakly lifts his head to confirm to what, it, or what his nose has already told him, that he's flanked by roses for as far as the eye can see. He's back at Asso Castle excuse me. He's back at Castle Alucard, tossed in the grass like a broom whose bristles have cracked with age. In the end, I couldn't do anything. I was flung aside. Please, forgive me, Madam Rachel. Falkenhayn lay amid the roses, too weak to move. Lunar light streams down on him from the full moon above. Slowly his wounds close, his bones knit. Still wincing from the pain, he remembers the silent shadow. Phantom, can it be you were trying to save me? There is no answer, for the moon above is his only companion, and the moon keeps her own counsel. Verily, I do beseech you for aid, O learned Kokonoe. Greed, I am per well, to be if you're one very well. Although, that's interesting. Hold on, where am I? I do hope I'm not having a senior moment. It didn't say one of the possibilities of the continuum shift at the end of that one. Now, obviously that could have been an editing mistake, or that could have been purposeful. Hmm. Interesting. Rachel's guardian, huh? Should have had you bring a mop. Ah, Miss Kokonoe. How do you do? And you give me too much credit. I am hardly milady's guardian. Merely a lowly manservant. Still rocking the class inequality, I see. <laughs> Forgive my impertinence, Miss Kokonoe, but you have aged quite well since last we met. You were taking, uh, sustenance from your mother's... at the time. Jeez. How long ago was that? Because, spoiler alert, I've been on solid food for a while now. It's been decades. No wonder I'm feeling so long in the proverbial tooth. So, Miss Kokonoe, dare I ask where we are? You've ended up where all lost children do. Those who couldn't make it to the true ending of their story. Ah, yes. For we are all children. Children of life. Was that supposed to be a joke? Indeed. According to the script, it's a real knee slapper. Ha! <laughs> there it is. There, I, there it is. I was wait- I was waiting! I don't know why I'm having trouble speaking today. I was waiting for somebody to acknowledge the script! It's a pun, isn't it? Friggin' puns. As soon as you try translating them from Japanese into English, they go absolutely tits up! <laughs> isn't that right, localiz localization team? My regrets. I shall try to be more careful in the future. Let's cut to the chase. In this room, I'm Queen Bitch. One of the six heroes or not, you gotta do as I say. Following orders is my specialty, but what must I do exactly? It's easy. Shut up and listen to what I'm gonna tell you. 
That sounds reasonable. So, I take it you didn't get the true ending on this playthrough of the game, right? My shame knows no quenching. Hell, it could have been worse. I mean, you encountered a really rare character. And you got a peek at all sorts of secret relationship crap. It wasn't a bad ending, in the grand scheme of things. You're talking about her. Never in a thousand years would I expect being teleported by anyone other than Milady. Do you think she's really... you know... I suppose we'll have to wait until the next installment to find out. Good to know. Assuming they're not just making this shit up as they go. <laughs> okay, time for some advice. Speak, sagacious one. I'm betting you charged into danger all balls to the wall because you were worried about Rachel. Yeah? I don't see how my uh, balls have anything to do with it. Look, Valkenhayn, Rachel's an adult. She's older than dirt. Just because she looks like a ball-jointed doll doesn't mean she can't fend for herself. Don't be so damn overprotective. Duly noted, Miss Kokonoe. I shall try. Now then, I should probably be on my way. Not so fast. I've got a question for you. And what might that be? What don't I got? Can you phrase that another way? Your grammar is making my eyelid twitch. I've got a long-ass backstory, and the fans can't get enough of me. So, why? Why? Uh... Oh, okay. Why the hell is it that damned lollies, geezers, and masked weirdos get to be playable characters, and I'm still just Tigger's friggin' radio buddy, huh? Huh? I want answers, damn it! Is there some conspiracy at work here? Oh, or did you already fill your flat-chested chick quota for the series? Why, Valkenhayn? Why? B -b Please, Miss Kokonoe, calm yourself. <sighs> How shall I phrase this? Uh, I think they've held off on releasing you because you, Miss Kokonoe, are their trump card. The proverbial ace in the hole. Trump card, huh? Oh, yes, quite. You are their ultimate weapon, to be made available only at just the right moment, you see? Ultimate weapons? F yeah! <laughs> the trump card! An ace in the hole? I get it now. The Blaze Blue Suit's been plotting this all along! Oh, that's exactly right! As soon as the game's popularity starts to decline, that's when they'll lead you into the spotlight. You will take the stage, Miss Kokonoe. Not merely as a playable character, no, but as the savior of the whole franchise. Also, careful about getting too worked up there, Kokonoe. Your Subaki is showing. <laughs> I've been sitting here trying to figure out whose voice that was. And I only just realized that Kokonoe and Tsubaki have the same voice actress. Or at least, it sounds like it. <laughs> the savior of the franchise! I've always known! Suck it, haters! Crisis averted. Now, at least. Also, you don't have any, uh, combat potential, so... Yeah, there's that, Kokonoe. Anyway, with that crisis averted, I think we <laughs> I think we should end things off. In the next episode, we finish up the Kind story. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later.